All right, so my artifact is number 118, and it is the Valley of Mexico from the Santa Isabel mountain range. Some basic information. This piece was created in 1875, and the medium was oil on canvas, and it is 137.5 centimeters by 226. Uh, the era this is, is realism with much of the artist's inspiration coming from Europe. Now, some background on the artist. So, Jose Maria Velasco was very famous for his landscapes, and it wasn't just landscapes of places in the world or in Europe. It was specifically landscapes of the Mexican national lands to try and promote ideas of, you know, Mexican identity and nationality. Um, he was very interested in science and mathematics, leading to his use of proportions being very precise, as well as the scale of certain objects being very precise. Moving on to form. So he, in the main photo, this is a close-up, but in the main photo, he kind of includes this kind of depth and vastness with both color and composition of the piece, with the foreground being kind of right at you and parts of it being lit up with kind of some of the more outer sides of the painting being a bit darker, leading to your emphasis being on kind of that center portion. So as I just mentioned, it's dark to light in the foreground. And this is a close up of the piece. So you can tell that he uses some very detailed brushwork um, much of which, as you can see, uh, is in this kind of realist, realist um, style. And in the larger painting, uh, not the close-up, you can kind of see this atmospheric perspective, which kind of goes along with the clouds and the nature and the color of the sky. Um, it's also, again, like I mentioned, carefully made in scale. So the foreground and the vastness of kind of the hills in the distance are very proportional and made to scale for kind of the all, um, pretty much for the whole aspect of the painting and for the perspective to kind of grab your eye. All right, moving on to content. So some of these points have already been hit, but we'll go over them again. So it is a natural landscape. Um, you can kind of see this as I was mentioning, you can you can see that we're standing on the Santa Isabel mountain range, which is the foreground, um, and it kind of slowly drifts off to kind of the horizon with much of the atmospheric perspective with the clouds and the water on kind of the center right and the left side being kind of very prominent in the piece. There's also a human presence, as we saw in the zoom in, of the last slide, but also you can see it in kind of the bottom of the painting, how you see the woman, child, and dogs running around, which kind of adds this human um, presence as well as in the distance, um, in the middle of the piece, there is some architecture and kind of industrialized areas, which also hints at this human presence. Now the atmospheric mood kind of really promotes the landscape kind of with parts of it being lit up and some parts of it being shadowed by the clouds so there's this kind of unique use um, that this artist kind of puts in play with the clouds and the shadows and how everything all together looks so context um a lot of the main reasons he did this was to promote Mexican identity and like to, pr to pr pretty much promote uh, Mexican nationalism. Uh, he really wanted to put emphasis on the beauty of the land and kind of, kind of show the development of Mexico, especially how society was industrializing very fast. Um, he was also very inspired by Europe. So a lot of his techniques and style comes from uh, classic European, um, I guess, brushwork and techniques. A lot of the realism is very, uh, I guess, prominent in what we have seen before. However, the one dis uh, distance 
that he makes from kind of the Europe paintings and his is again, this use of atmospheric perspective and like the unique use of lighting and shadows. Uh, he was a key figure in this, I guess, line of landscape painting. He was really well known for his landscape paintings. Um, and especially this piece kind of put him in the, um, front of these landscape paintings with all the detail and precision that he included in his pieces. Altogether, this is a very well put together and shows ideas about both nationalism, human presence, and others, and it was a very interesting piece to go over at all. Uh, this is all we have for right now, and I appreciate you listening to this.